what a disappointment you are. You're a fool if you think you can beat me with my own technology. I am as much its master as I am yours. This is Eternia. Technology is only half the battle. No! You hate magic because you don't understand it. That's why you've always needed an acolyte to wield magic on your behalf. You used to know that, but you forgot it. And while the Havoc Staff showed me how to tap into dark magic, it's not the only source of power in the universe. I should have left you to die on that filthy island, Keldor. My name is... Skeletor! Oh, yes. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Did y'all see Skeletor just take Hordak ass up out of here? Son of my Son straight to hell. So we think. What's up, YouTube, for the collectors, newcomers, and most of all, people who really do love the content. It's your man, back at it again with another figure review. Now, these reviews are more like, you know what I'm saying, to help you decide if you want to go pick this figure up or not. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm saving you that trouble. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you right now before I even get into this. Go pick him up. Go pick him up. He worth every penny. But for the most part, we're going to get into the Skeletor. You know what I'm saying? Masters of the Universe. Revolution. Um, Skeletor. Um... I'm, I'm digging him from the waist up. I'm just not digging old legs. I'm, I'm be honest now. Them, them legs don't look too hot to me. I'm going to be honest with you. But, you know, if you can kind of overlook the legs looking like chicken legs, um, mechanical chicken legs or robotic chicken legs, if you can, if that shit can grow on you, then you'll be fine. So that was gonna have to happen with me because those legs are not right. But enough of that. Let's get into the packaging that this guy comes in. Okay, here's the packaging that this guy comes in. So, uh, Mattel. So I'm reviewing a Mattel figure this time. You know what I'm saying? Mattel, yeah. No Marvel Legends, no DC Motorist. Those will be like my top two figures that I review off the rip. So we're doing some Mattel. And this is um from the Netflix. Um, original series so i hope y'all done checked it out you probably have you know what i'm saying if you're watching this shit right now you probably already don't seen this right here but for the most part i wanted to get this figure because i thought he was dope in that you know what i'm saying um series and also i like the way that he looks until we get down to them damn legs but uh, that's a whole nother conversation we're gonna get into all of that so as you see the packet that it comes in you know what i'm saying he got 30 points of articulation we're gonna check out the top right here and he got Masterverse. Awesome, awesome. Well, check out the side right there. And I kind of ripped it a little bit. Tried to put it back together. Mm -hmm. Um, Check out the other side right there. That's a cool-ass image of my man Skeletor. Ha-ha. <laughs> Cyber cybernetic. <laughs> and here's the back of the packaging right here. Let me she can get it all in now. Dope, dope. And you get the um, Tila. Man of Arms, Trap Jaw, and also Skeletor. So they got these guys already at Walmart, you know. And um, I picked this guy on, up on a, a recent hunt as well. So that being said, let's get into this figure, Skeletor. All right, so before we get into this figure, we're going to get into the accessories. He don't have any much of accessories. The only thing he come with is a hand. As y'all see that. And a crown as y'all see that that's it that's it and check your box check your box thoroughly because if you don't you end up throwing that hand away 
real talk. So let's get up and close and personal of Skeletor with all this tech. With all this tech, goddamn. Have Skeletor, have tech. <laughs> um, but I'm really digging this arm, seriously. This is the highlight of this figure right here, his arm. And y'all know that arm is fire, son. You know, got the mouth that opens and everything. And that's his um, <clears throat> this mouth, this this right here, is his um. I can't call the name of it. The name don't strike me, but it's like a staff that he had when he was like the regular Skeletor. You know what I'm saying? The staff. It just made into his arm and shit. And I don't know what to call his staff. I'm going to have to um, look it up. But um, for the most part, you know, I'm digging a figure until we get into his legs right here. And this is where it all go to shit. Right here. We got these metal chicken legs. All go to shit right here. Everything else is, is, is dope on this guy, right? The face scope, the, um, the body scope. What is that? what that is you know his arm belt but we get down to these legs they all go to shit you know and this is the detailing part of the segment right here so it, the detailing is good even the legs got good detailing in it but i don't like how they look metal chicken legs but um for the most part the detailing on this guy is good so um and the paint apps as well so what we finna do now is get into some articulation, which is not much. And we're gonna start with these damn legs. Get this shit on out the way. So your leg can go up about that much. They can go backwards and check this out. They can also go fucking forward. Come on, man. Backwards, forwards, then they rotate. I think it rotated the thigh. His foot can go down that much, go up that much. But this right here really. <laughs> that, that really that, that just uh, it's not right. It's not right. But he's 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 robotic. So, you know, that is expected. This damn chicken ass legs. What the fuck did I just do? Uh oh, this this there we go. Cause he now he look like he down. Oh shit! What did I done did? I done did it. Oh, never mind. Never mind. There we go. I think I pulled it out just a little bit. So we just gonna start from the arms and see can we get that? Probably not in the T pose. I think that's about this. How is that gonna go? And I'm gonna do the arm articulation on this side because you know this is don't have no uh, bicep and um double joints. So um arm go about that much has a bicep swivel, is double joint at the elbow and a pinless has rotation at the wrist and also a hinge has rotation on the neck. Look up about that much, look down about that much. Has rotation at the upper and the lower. Um, he can do the split power like that much because you know this, um, this right here. Uh, don't know. The, I don't want to say a damn dress. I don't want to say a dress. Cat Williams. I don't want to say a dress. But this right here causing him not to. <laughs> do a proper um van damme split but you know and that's pretty much it on the articulation so what we finna get into now is a couple of size comparison all right size comparison time size comparison time as you can see we got a mcfarlane we got a marvel legend and we got a Mattel is the Mattel is Skeletor, the Marvel Legend is Cyclops, and the McFarlane is Kilowatt. And as you can see, it's like a ladder or a stepping stone, small, medium, and large. Let's continue.
All right, so we got a couple of Batman, and as you can see with the um, Green Lantern Batman, he's a little taller due to the fact of his ears, but the Christian Bale Batman and the um, Skeletor is about the same height. Uh, I'm using figures that I got laying around because I'm trying to throw this video together so I can put out another one same day. Do y'all feel me? I'm just doing a size comparison with figures that I got on hand. All right, so we got the Plastic Man and we got this Builder figure, Ultra Major. I'm, I'm saying that shit right. I might be not. I might be not. I'm just going to be honest. I'm just going to be honest. But you know what I'm saying? He's he's taller than both of these guys. He's a Marvel legend. And um, it's a cool looking bear. Seriously, that's a nice looking bear. People, don't don't fall asleep on this guy. You know, if you hadn't got this guy, I highly recommend you pick up this bear, Ultra Major. Let me know in the comments if I'm saying that shit right or not. You know what I mean? Because you know I'm not good with names. All right. So we at the um, final thought portion of this video. Yes, the final thought portion. So my final thought of this figure, man, overall rating from a scale of 1 to 10, I give this guy a 7.4 out of a 10. And the reason being, why it's so low like that is you call them damn legs, man. Them legs are not right. Y'all know them legs are not right. But from the waist up, he is on point. Everything is cool with this guy waist up. So uh, if I was a customizer, I would take those legs and, and, and trash them and, and put some other legs on there somewhere. But those legs are not doing it for me. They're not doing it for me. But overall, though, you know what I'm saying? This is an awesome figure. You know what I'm saying? He was dope in the show, as you done seen. So uh, if you want to pick this guy up, I recommend him. Just note that he has chicken damn legs. So um, if this is your very first time, well, I hope you enjoyed this, first of all, because I enjoyed doing it. I really did. I really enjoyed reviewing this guy. Seriously. Can you tell? <laughs> so if this is your very first time checking me out, do yourself and I a favor. Subscribe. Turn the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. And do any type of content for that matter. That being said, this is your man, Mr. Star, your friend of sign out. To all the YouTube for the collectors, newcomers, and most of all, people who really do love the content deuces. And I will catch y'all on another video that I'm going to try to throw up here real soon, like another review. And that's just to make up for these hunts that I'm not doing this weekend because I'm not doing no hunts this weekend. I'm taking a break for hunts. So I'm just going to go, go back to the basics and do old-fashioned figure reviews. That being said, this is your man, Mr. Starger, signing out. Deuces.